Good evening everyone, and welcome back to Thursday Night Primal Moves. This is uh, week three, so we're looking at our third session now, so we've been going out for a couple of weeks. And we've got the same sequence we began with last time to get ourselves going, to get the body moving, and then we've got some new activities we're going to try out this week, and we're going to put them into a second sequence, okay? So, you can use a mat if you need to, so a little bit of cushioning on the floor, or if you don't want to do that, give yourself a little bit more room to work around. Alright, so we're going to get into our first activity, so we're going to start with some warm-up movements. We're going to begin from standing tonight, okay? Especially if you've got plenty of room, a little bit of water if you need it, and a mat on the floor if you require, okay? You ready? Let's get stuck in. So we're going to start with those wrist circles, feet shoulder width apart. Start to turn and Make sure you go both directions. more in there. Okay. So we can get through into the core and the waist. Feet a little bit wider apart. Turn one foot out to face away from that hip. And then we're going to take these hand on the same side, lean down that leg, bring the opposite arm up. Really stretch those fingers up above that shoulder, point towards the sky, Try and bring that hand down to touch the ankle if you can. Keep this knee straight. We're trying to get a stretch through here and also through the lower back and across the shoulders. So we're just going to go there to there. So it's kind of a windmill like technique. Standing. 
We're going to walk the hands down to the floor, walking out into a plank position in there. And then we're going to try and step through, bring the foot on the outside of the hands in there. Open up from that same side through there. Keep switching. Rotate through the shoulders. Open up the spine. Really bring that arm back as far as you can manage. But keep it moving rather than a static push in there. And just keep it moving back and forth. Again, if you can't get your foot all the way up to here, it doesn't matter. You just come to as far as you can. We try and keep the hips both facing front as we work through. One more here. And relax. Okay. So, we're going to go to our first sequence. So if you remember correctly, we start from the hover position. Then you're going to sit back into that hovering child, hovering beast type position with the hips back and the knees off the floor. And then we're going to go through our knee reach, leg reach behind, and our kick throughs, okay? So this is our sequence. So I'm just going to show you those very quickly so you remember which techniques we're doing. And then we're going to go for six reps, three on each side of the body, okay? So just as a little reminder. work through for two or three minutes non-stop work okay let's get stuck in set hold
That's our sequence from the last couple of weeks that we've been practicing. So you've got five movements in there in total. Start to work through the routine. You can see a little bit out of breath, so you can start to get that red bit of fat burning, metabolizing type of activity. Also that great activation through the core, mobility, hips, strengthening the shoulders. Okay. So we're going to get into our new set of exercises, okay? So our first new move, we're going to start from the knee reach to leg reach type position. And what we're going to do now is we're going to actually going to flip the body all the way over. So we're going to essentially throw the leg over so we land with the heel down on the other side. So we're essentially just extending that position. So let me just quickly show you how that looks. So, we'd set up in the normal way. So we sit back into Hovering Beast. And then when we go for our knee reach, instead of reaching around with the leg and finishing there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna knee reach, bring it around. Okay, so your landing position should look like this at the end. So your leg is just slightly off to an angle, heel is down, knee up. Bring the arm down the side as you come over, yeah? So we show you from this side, so we're here, we've gone back, we reach, we bring that leg up and over the top, roll onto that heel, bring this heel down, bring the arm over, wrist has to turn to support, okay? So that's our first move, it's the leg front, okay? So we're just gonna practice three of those on each side. So it's gonna look like this. So hover. Which from here we're just going to turn over back into position. Okay, then we go sit back, reach and flip, flip over, back to start. Okay, so let's get ready. Three on each leg. Set hold up. Let's go. Our rhythms. Towards the other leg from that position, and then we simply 
put the weight on this inside hand, bring the weight up and over the top into that plank position, yeah? So once you've flipped over, you'll have the landing leg and the, the leg is thrown over in here. So we just bring that in, weight on the hand, bring the weight over the top, okay? So, we're gonna go. There, bring that leg in, roll over, set position. From here, hovering beast, and we through the right leg, so we're gonna do the right leg again. We're gonna step inside, same hand, so that leg comes up, back knee comes up, keeps it straight. While still touching the floor, if you can. If flexibility won't allow, you can have that knee down if you want to, okay? So we're there, chest up, leaning back. Hands down, leg back, off your beats, we do the other leg, flip over, bring that leg in, roll over, in there, yeah? Left leg this time, comes inside, lift it up. Okay? So, sequence two. Let's throw the leg, roll over, step through the lunge, lift up. Three on each leg. Here we go. Always start from that set hover position. Step back. Hover beast. Right leg first. Leg in, left leg in, roll over, right leg again, inside, lift up. Hands down, back in, sit back, reach with the left, bring it round, right leg in, roll over. Left leg in, lift it up. That's round one, that's two, we've got two to go. And left. Right leg. through the front, okay? We're just gonna look at that to start with. So our position, before we do it, is from the hovering position. So we are, let me show you from in front. Right, so, so, set hover, hovering beast. From here, we're gonna choose which leg we're gonna do. So we've been leading with the right, so we'll go with right first. So, we're gonna, the right leg is gonna come outside where the hands were, and we're actually gonna kick through with the left leg. So this one's a little bit more, a little bit less intuitive because we're switch going to the right side and we're using the left leg, so let me just show you that. So we're here, and then we're gonna jump through with that right leg, 
Bring the left leg underneath. Left hand is on the floor. Left leg, left hand, right foot. Switch that back under. All the way back. Hands down. Hovering beast. Then we do the other side. So we jump with the left. Right leg comes under. Switch it back. Yeah? So the idea is that both legs move at the same time, yeah? So in full speed, looks like this. Okay? So it's quite dynamic now, so we've got a little bit of a jump. So do the best you can, have a little go. If you're struggling, you'll actually find it easier with the jump, but if you want to go a little bit slower, we can try this. So we can go from there, bring that leg up, put your weight into the left hand, bring the leg underneath there. Step back, hands down, walk it back. Step the leg, leg round, bring the right leg under. So you go, at your own level. So if you want to step and go, you can. If you want to jump through, you can do that as well, okay? So, what we're going to do is, we're going to go from our first two, we're going to add the kick through off, all right? So let's have a little practice of the kick through by itself. Let's do two on each, uh, three on each side, so six in total, same as before. So let's, uh, let's give that a go. So, in position, set hover, hovering beast, and always leave that right leg. So we're going to kick through there and back, left and back, right and back, left and back, last pair. Hovering beast. Set hover and recover. Okay? So, let's try and put those together, alright? So, we're going to go for hover, set hover, hovering beast, knee reach, leg throw, roll, lunge, kick through. Okay? So, we're starting to really sort of build that sequence now together, all right? So let's see if we can give that a go. So, three on each side. We'll take it slow to begin with, in fact. So what we'll do is, it's quite a long sequence. We'll go for one time through on each side. I'll call out commands. You try and follow through with me. We'll practice that first, and then we'll go full speed, full speed okay? So, here we go. Set hover. Try and follow with me. Hovering beast. Knee reach, leg throw. Bring that arm down. Bring the leg in, roll over, into position, yeah? And then we're gonna do that forward lunge. So we're still right leg, foot in between, arching back. Hand down, come back, hovering beast. From there, we're then going to go to our kick through. So it's right leg, left leg underneath, and back. Hovering beast, and then we start again from the other side. So we do everything with the right leg first, and then we switch to the other side, okay? So in full speed, here we go. Set up. Hovering beast. Reach with the right knee, bring it over with the right leg. Roll in with the left, roll over. Lunge with the right, arching back. Hands down, hovering beast. Kick through, right side, hovering beast. And we start again, so we're gonna go left, knee reach, leg throw, right leg foot, right leg in, roll over. Left leg lunge. And down, 
Hover and breathe, uh, so hover and breathe. Left leg kick through. Hover and breathe. And then we repeat to the right again. So we're starting from the knee to leg throw at the beginning of the next sequence. So it's knee, leg throw, roll over, lunge, kick through, start again, all right? So here we go. This is our last one. So we're gonna try and put it all together. So it's three on the right leg, three on the left leg to finish off, okay? Let's see how we go. I'll call out the first one, so you can then follow thereafter. Step on. Cover your beast. Right leg front. Roll the left leg under. Right leg lunge. Hovering beast. Right leg kick. Hovering beast. Go to the left. Left leg front. Roll the right foot. Come underneath. Plank position. Left leg lunge. Hovering beast. Left leg kick. Start again, you go at your own pace, right leg, roll under, right leg up, to the left, roll under, So just as a reminder, that was a little bit less intense. So you can start to bring the uh, tensity down a little bit. So we're going to do our set hover, knee reach, leg reach, and side kick through. Okay? Three on each side to finish off. See how we go. So we're going to try and keep the intensity up. So we'll have another 15 seconds rest. We're going to go in. You just watch me while you're resting. This is what we're doing. Up, hover release, knee reach, leg reach. Hover release, leg, left leg reach, knee reach, leg reach, knee reach. Back down to hover release, walk it in. Right kick through to the side, centre, left leg kick through to the side, centre, start again, okay? So, last, last minute on side work, let's make it count. Alright, here we go. 
Set hold it again. Three on each side. Let's go. Or reverse. Right knee reach. Right leg reach. Right knee reach. Or reverse. Switch sides. Set up for the hot bar for the kick. From there, we're going to stay down. We're going to walk one hand around the outside. You should feel a stretch down the side of the body. Stay there for a few seconds. Pull the hands to the centre, off to the opposite side. From here, we're going to lift out from the hips, bring the hands under the shoulders, drop the hips down, 
arching back. Now, you may not be able to have straight arms there, so if you're on your elbows, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna try and keep the legs hip width apart and arch your back, bring the head back. Make sure you stay here for a few breaths. Instead of sitting back into the hips, we're just going to come straight down. So we're trying to keep the hips high and bring the chest down to the floor. So this is really about shoulder mobility and mobility through the spine. So we want to try and get the hips back in line and then press that chest into the floor. A few deep breaths in here and work yourself further towards the floor as this eases off. Five breaths. CH1 Primal Moves. This is week three, Thursday night. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and just to give you an idea of this type of activity, you can see is quite dynamic. It does require quite a bit of shoulder strength and upper body strength as well as core strength. So again, try and include some of these movements in your practice. If you want to get better at doing these classes, try and practice those individual movements by themselves. Practice your plank, practice your side plank. Practice those kind of static positions where you're gonna to need to develop that upper body strength. I will be putting out some video tutorials in the coming weeks that are gonna teach you the different individual positions so you can use them to help with your practice. As ever, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for staying with us. Fingers crossed, it should now be only about four to six weeks before we're kind of getting back into it. So try and stay with us, keep exercising, stay healthy, stay strong, look after each other, and I hope to see you soon.